Hi guys, Scarfy Spurs okay here. We have match reactions to that 2 2 draw against Arsenal at the Emirates, that crazy North London derby. We're discussing everything that happened in today's video. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash the subscribe button because it is free to do so and helps the channel grow. If you like what you're seeing, don't also don't forget to turn the notifications bell on so you don't miss any of my content. If you like this in particular, leave a like and get involved in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, yeah, what a crazy game. I, I think overall a, a point is fair. I, don't th I think it would have been harsh on either team to, to come away with that game for nothing, considering what they left for, for 100 minutes, including added time on the pitch, uh, 90 plus. Yeah, so I was really happy with our performance. I, I, I said at the start of the day I'd take a point. I, I definitely would take a point. I think we were the unluckier team, if you like, in terms of their two goals came from a Romero own goal and a Romero handball, which obviously their, their second goal was a penalty. Uh, which is scored. So neither of their goals came from open play, uh, if you like. So that is, it's disappointing, um, and it's not Romero's finest games. Uh, it has to be said. But but individually, as a team, as a collective, as as a project, as as a club, uh, that was a very 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 good uh, performance. And you know what we've got to remember is that Arsenal are, you know. Quite a few transfer windows, quite a few times back in Arteta, you know, millions of pounds spent uh, into their project, a few years into their project. We're, we're only a few few months and, and one transfer window into our project. Uh, and we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Arsenal. That's the reality. Right until the final whistle. And that is all I asked for. We left everything on the pitch. Went toe-to-toe -to -toe till the end. Very, very happy with, with, with the point. On another day, yes, probably we take one of our chances. Some worry hit the side net him in the first half. That fantastic save from Raya. Maybe jumps and takes it better. Puts it more in the corner. Uh, or one of our decisions that led to one of their goals uh, go our way. Maybe Romero's not so unlucky. Or, you know... It's not given as a penalty. What what frustrates me is is their penalty, right? It's what is Romero meant to do? It, this is not just us. Thing. We we see it happen a lot. I just don't get it. Generally, as a rule, where can you put your hand? He you can't. He tries to move it out of the way. You know what can you do? It's for me. It's harsh. But not only that. If that's given, I can ex just about accept that. But it's the fact I thought Madison was also foul where it should have been our um, free kick. So. It looked like a foul to me, so I question the point of VAR again if it's not spotting clear and obvious. Um, so it's, but I don't want to start making excuses in the game, so I thought we were really, really good. Uh, this is a different Tottenham, you know, a quality game between two top teams, two top managers. G gave it everything. Uh, take a point, move on. You know, both teams inside the top five, uh, both teams undefeated. So yeah, it's been a good start. Arsenal already one point worse off, and arguably a trickier start in terms of fixtures. Uh, and us speaks for itself. Much, much, much better start. Much, much better football. Um, and last season we didn't go toe to toe with Arsenal. This, that's the difference. We, not only did we go toe to toe with Arsenal till the final whistle, you know, because last season we didn't compete with them in any minute of any game. So it was nice to be able to compete till the end, play some good football, and create some good chances. Um, the only negatives to take out of the game for me um, are just the fact that. Madison uh, and Johnson uh, injury concerns, especially Johnson, the way you go down, that looks like a hamstring injury. Madison as well, possibly we say he didn't feel great for the game. Um, yeah, it was even the wars, it's fair to say. But I understand why Apostle Gorky done it, but when Son and Madison came off, creativity just went and it was clear we weren't going to win the game. Richarlison, oh, part of me thought he, you know, he'd nearly won the game at the end. Of the, you know, that would be a just a cherry on top, yeah, if you like. It's just the, the thought of Richardson scoring an added time, 99th, 100th minute. It just, it just, it just seems right, doesn't it? Uh, but bless him, it didn't, it didn't happen for him. But yeah, no, really happy. Like I said, two top teams going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, what more can you ask for as, as, as a neutral point of view? Excellent, excellent game. Uh, yeah, really, really entertaining. Two fabulous teams playing some great stuff. Great football, great to watch. Uh, so long may this continue, you know, for, for putting my, my Spurs bias to the side, it's, it's a fantastic game to watch. I don't like North London derbies because they're nervous, they're tense, and you, you don't sleep the night before. But, you know, it is, it's a great game to watch, uh, this, what this one was. So let me know who your man of the match is in the comments below. I'm going with, I'm going to go with Son, because I thought he took, he, he took his two chances uh, very, very well. And Madison also, I thought was excellent. 
actually, no, I'm going to change that. I'm going to go with Mickey van der Ven because I think he got everything right. He's better than Romero today. Settled in really well. Another excellent man match performance for me. So, yeah, I'm just... M Mickey van der Ven edges this for me. I nearly really forgot about him. So, let me know man and match in the comments below. But mine is Mickey van der Ven. can understand it. You know, Madison's a contender for sure. Son's a contender for sure. Um, maybe even Brandon Johnson or, or someone else in that mid midfield... Uh, or fullbacks, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, but that is your match reaction to that chaotic 2-2 draw. It's fair to say. But like I said, at the start of the video, new to the channel, don't forget to smash the subscribe button because it is free to do so and it does help the channel grow. That would be massively appreciated. 2023 has been a fantastic year for not only myself, but for the channel. Um, so yeah, getting to 1.5k by the end of the year will, for me, be the cherry uh, on top. High goals, high amb ambitions here at the channel. Um, as a year, we know will quickly come around and quickly close uh, as the darks, the, you know, the nights draw in, if you like. So yeah, looking forward to, to what twenty twenty four holds. Uh, but for now, that'd be fantastic. If you like what you're seeing as well, notifications bell on so you don't miss any of my videos and leave a like. Get more of the comments, like I said, man of the match thoughts on the game, you know, thoughts on any decisions that were you know discussed in the video or, or happen in the game, maybe I missed any, get involved in the comments, I will reply as soon as I can. As you always say on this channel, come you Spurs, very, very excellent and well-deserved point. We move on, come you Spurs. This is a different Tom Hotspur.